Hey beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I have received the latest product from Dior Backstage. So this is the eyeshadow palette in shade Celestial Purple and the face palette, so it's called Glow Face Palette. It's kind of a um, highlighter palette. If you, they call it Illuminating Face Palette, Highlighter and Blush. Uh, in shade Celestial Glow. So these are the two latest products from Dior Backstage. Um, I've already done my complexion, so just to save a little bit of time on camera, uh, but I wanna try these two products with you guys today. I have to say, I think I'm a little bit surprised with all the pastel collection colors coming out. I feel like this is more of a spring, palette tone than Christmas holiday palette. Um, don't get me wrong, the shades are stunning. Um, so this is the eyeshadow palette. They're all very shimmery. You've got pearl finish, you've got satin finish, shimmer, and one velvet. So these three here at the top are satin finish. Uh, these two are shimmers and this one is satin. Uh, this one here is a satin finish, this is a proper shimmer one, and this is the only velvet finish. They are really nice, um, usually the backstage palette are very long lasting, I really like the formula. The late, the most recent video I did with the smoky palette of um, backstage, Dior backstage, the palette is amazing. It's one of the palette that I really go back to use because I love the finish. I love the texture of the eyeshadow and I know it's going to last the whole day. Um, but I am a bit surprised with the color scheme. Um, and I have to say, so this is the face palette that has blushes. So you've got your glitter, white. Uh, this is a coral strobe. You've got, this is more of a blush um, and glitter icy blue. Honestly, they are very, very similar to the eyeshadow palette. The coral in each palette is the same thing. Um, the blush, fine, this one is different. The icy blue, both are the same thing, except that in this palette you have less shimmer. Um, and the satin pearl, this one has, this one has glitter in it, not this one, but like you could literally just use this palette and not bother getting this one. I'm, I, it's a nice palette, but you've got the same shade in the small eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to swatch this palette on my arm so you guys can see all the different shades. So I'm going to start from the top row here with the satin finish. It's a satin pearly white. Oh, it's gorgeous. I, you see, I'm, I'm always complaining and then once I try them on, I'm like, oh wow, this is absolutely amazing. Um, typical me. So the next one is the satin coral. I thought I was going to be a little bit more pigmented. Maybe I need to put some more. Okay, so this is a very soft coral. Very, very soft coral. You barely see it on my arm. It's just a nice satin finish. And the third one at the top is a bronze shade. Ooh, this is gorgeous. So that's your first row. It's beautiful. I love their proper satin finish shade. They feel so creamy. It's really nice. And then you've got um, the Lilac Shimmer. I'm going to try and pick some more. Very soft as well. It looks much darker in the palette. Yep. I mean, you can see it's a lilac, but it's not super dark. Um, the middle one is a pink shimmer. So 
a little bit more pigmented. It's beautiful. So this is your plum that is a velvet finish. Is it velvet? No, it's called, it's a satin as well. It feels more velvet than satin. And on the bottom row, you have your silver that is a satin finish, so this one. This is gorgeous. See that that's more like it. I love the silver one. Beautiful. And then the second class is the shimmer one, the icy blue shimmer. It's usually quite hard to pick up. And just to show you. So here. It's not going to show much. This is the icy blue with the shimmer in it. And the last shade is the only velvet and it's a deep blue. So you've got two really dark shades in the palette. You've got your plum and the deep blue. So these are the nine shades from the Backstage Celestial palette. Um, nothing is matte, so it's very shiny, it's shimmery, satin finish. I love the formula as always, so there's never any disappointment there. I'm just a bit surprised with the color scheme. I think maybe it's because I have so much makeup and I feel like when it's Christmas and winter, I'm always expecting something a little bit more festive, a little bit more gold and sparkly. These are icy cold, but it's like very galactic, very, I don't know, um, well, Celestial is the right name for this palette. Slightly surprised, uh, but I'm sure we can create some amazing look with so now let's swatch this palette. I'm going to use my other arm. So I'm going to start with the white glitter. So it's properly glitter and I don't know where you would put that much glitter on your face. I mean, this is, yeah, that, that, that I'm slightly surprised. Um, then the blush, the coral blush, you can't see anything because it's so pale and light. It's more of a highlighter. It's right here, but, and like, I don't have, my skin is not super dark at the moment. Yeah. Uh, it's a nice little highlighter it's very subtle and uh, then you have the pink it's more a blush that's a nice pink for a blush but i think i would use it more as a highlighter than just a blush because it's very shimmery and the fourth shade is the icy blue Again, it has shimmer into it. That really doesn't show much on the skin. Yeah, that's all I'm getting. I think I'm slightly disappointed with this palette. I'm, yeah, I don't think, I'm going to see. I think I'm going to say it, just save your money. Don't bother buying this palette, there's no point. Um, I'm sure you guys have already a ton of highlighter palettes. This is not going to do much for you. Um, unless you have an extremely light and fair skin, um, you can make it work. But like a, a skin that is super light and pale and you have a cool undertone, Otherwise, there's no point. This is, that that's nicer. You can create some amazing looks. The formula is amazing. Uh, 
but this I mean, it's not groundbreaking. It's not, yeah, this one save your money, just don't even bother. So I rarely say this, but I think you could skip this collection easily. Um, I mean, the quality is there, the shades are nice, but this, I really don't see the point. I'm slightly, I'm almost, I would return it, but I think I'm gonna try and make it work now that I have it. Um, but like you're not gonna miss out on anything if you skip it this is nice but i'm sure you already have some deep shade like this i mean yeah if if you're not really if you're undecided just skip it you're not gonna miss out and there's so many other you you can have much better options out there and i don't think it's worth you spending all of your money on this collection. I and mean, I can't believe I'm saying this because I usually find a way of making everything work. But I think this is meh. Right, nevertheless, I'm going to create a look with the palette so you guys can see how it looks. And if you're undecided by now, maybe you'll say, yeah, I want to give it a try or no. So let's see. Um, Right, so I'm going to go with the Satin Pearl uh, shade to use as my base. And I don't have anything on my eyelid. I'm just going right in, no primer, so I can really see how the product is holding. And this now i'm going to use the silver shade here at the bottom so i'm gonna go and create kind of a cool winter look even though it is about 26 degrees here in the south of france <laughs> uh, I'm not really in the cold, cold winter vibe yet because, you know, when you're out in the south of France, it's sunny, it's nice weather. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm not quite there yet. Now I'm going to use that blue to go in the crease. So I've got a very loose crease brush because I don't want to pick up too much product. And because it's quite dark, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> I have to give it to Dior, those backstage palettes are always. Like shade shade apart, the payoff is always there. The quality is definitely always there. Uh, you might not be wowed by the the shade, but definitely the quality is there. It's actually not too bad, and I'm going to try to add the shimmer um so i'm gonna pick it up with my finger and i need to take my mirror so i see what i'm doing oh actually nice but you don't see it much on the camera it just add that little pop of shimmer and that really nice so it's icy blue but there's definitely a little bit of purple or lilac under in the sparkle and on the way it reflects the light this is not bad guys obviously it's a very cool tone makeup um but it's turned out better than i thought i like it
Alright, so I finished the eyes. I've put eyeliner, liquid eyeliner and mascara. I think I'm just having mixed feelings with this collection. Don't get me wrong, the product is fantastic. The quality is there, the formula is good. It's backstage, so it's going to last. I think, I don't know, I think I was expecting something more festive, like a gold and obviously this is silver and I feel like I'm the ice queen. Um, but I, yeah, there's like a weird trend of funky colors. Um, I think I just need to play with the palette a little bit more. So let's try this palette. I have a little bit of blush, but I'm going to add the pink blush on top anyway. So I've got my little brush. Uh, let's go with the pink. It's so soft. It just add that really, so okay, so it adds a really nice glow, but there's not much color to it. Yeah, there's, honestly, if you have a dark skin, medium dark skin, forget it, it's just not gonna show on you. It's really, I think this palette is made for like the Asian market or people that have very light skin because even on me it's not showing that much um and i'm really curious to try the blue you know this highlighter makes me think of last year in chanel i think it was le beige collection there was that oh no it was the summer collection there was that highlighter with white blue-ish highlighter this is very similar. Um, I just need, oh, I have a fan brush here. Oh, I picked up a lot. So anyway. So it's giving a really nice reflection, but it's also leaving a bit of a, not white, but like it's very pale on the skin. I am not convinced. And I want to try the white one. So I picked up some. Oh, Jesus. Okay, it's probably too much highlighter now. So how about just this, and I'm gonna apply it on my nose. Actually, it's not too bad. It's giving a nice reflection. Yeah, okay. Right, so that's the highlighter. I've added some here, the white one, and on my cheek I have well all the three shades, the pink, the blue, and the white, and the white on my nose. I mean, it's giving a really nice reflection, but like as I mentioned, if you already have a few highlighter palettes, it's nothing really that is groundbreaking, so you're not really gonna miss out. Uh, I want to add a little bit of lipstick. So I have my Charlotte Tilbury. I did pick up a few shades of the new Dior nude collection. Uh, so I will do a review of that soon. Um, I think I'm just gonna do like a full makeup look of new makeup product. So. And I do have the Lilac lip gloss from Dior, but it's back home in the UK. Uh, in London and I did not think of bringing it with me. Right, this is the final look. Um, if I come close, you'll see like the reflection is really nice. The color scheme, if you have a cool toned skin and very light and fair, it's going to be nice on you. If you have a very dark skin, I don't think this collection is the right for you. Um, in terms of payoff, the payoff is there, the quality is there. Is it a must? Definitely not. Um, I think it's 
If you're looking to pass on to some product, these I would say you can pass easily. Um, I'm sure you already have some dark and silver eyeshadow in your collection. Um, unless you're absolutely wanting this collection, go for it. But I think in my opinion, you're not gonna miss out on much. Uh, it's, a, it's a great collection in terms of quality and formula, but the shades, nothing new um so yeah i hope you found this review to be useful um let me know down below in the comments what you think let me know what you think of this makeup look do i look like the ice queen i feel like it's very it's wintry um so yeah let me know down below what you guys think i will link all the products that i have been using as well i'm using the dior foundation stick uh, with the contour stick and I have to say I absolutely love them. They are so so good um, So a big thanks for watching if you've not subscribed to my channel, please do so hit the subscribe button If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time